Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be playing the brand new Call of Duty World War II update, which is just absolutely freaking insane. This is the update where they actually end up adding in the old school fun factor in the Call of Duty again. And I normally do not say that about a lot of things, especially with Call of Duty lately. They actually brought back the fun factor in this update. So they actually added in a zombies theme update, believe it or not. And within this update, they add in infected like you've never seen before. This is going to be probably the best version of infected we ever have because there's actual like full out zombie zombies like they actually made the skins the zombies from the nazi zombie multiplayer and they end up heading them into the game so you can actually be one of the nazi zombies running around and just killing people with an axe which is pretty cool i'm pretty sure that these guys suspect that okay now that sound effect just sounds awesome <laughs> But, uh, you can actually be one of the, uh, zombies running around and actually killing people with an axe. So, it's not 100% realistic, you're not going around, you know, eating them alive. But you look like the zombies from the actual zombies mode. And you actually have an axe and you're running around, and it's really cool, you're not just some weird soldier with a green hood on. You're actually running around as a zombie, which is absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure you get the throwing knives and crap like that. But, uh, that's just awesome how they're doing this, and there's already only nine of us left. This is actually starting to give me hyper paranoid. I got a trench gun or combat shoddy and a type 100. I don't even have they have this mist going around them. I'm actually really paranoid, dude. I'm gonna start placing some bouncing beddies. This is really paranoid. Ooh, I see him. I see you. Come here. Oh, dude, I'm actually really anxious. I'm worried they're gonna flank me. Ooh. Oh! Okay, boys, I'm starting to get really worried. That's actually scared the crap out of me. Uh. Look at them, dude. They're actually zombies. <laughs> you oh, you actually run out of ammo. Wait, who the hell? Who the hell got a V2 rocket? What? Oh! No! What the? F what the heck happened? actually got a V2 rocket, what the? Oh, dude, and look at the first person on the zombies. What the heck? You fought well under pressure. This victory will be remembered. That's awesome. Look at that, dude, that's so cool. Look at the model. It's actually the zombies. That's awesome, dude. Okay, now this is going to be really fun. So, not only did they add in Infected, but they also added in the Groston House Zombies map as a multiplayer map. And if you remember my old gameplay video of that map, you'll know that this map is so, so tiny. It's literally a two-story house with, like, four rooms, and that's it. So, if we're playing Infected on this, and there's 12 of us in this whole entire lobby, this match is going to be, like, 30 seconds or less, I almost promise you. Oh, never mind. Okay, so what they did is they actually expanded on it. Okay, then that makes sense. Okay, so this is the Groston house from the tutorial, not the actual Groston house, where the, where the actual house is open. So you get the yards as long as you end up, uh, I'm assuming, getting out in time. Because I don't know how close the infected would spawn near you. Okay, no, you just spawn out here. Yeah, but this is uh, the zombies map, Groston house from zombies, obviously. But it's in multiplayer, and this is a little bit of the outside. This is awesome, dude. Let's do this. So, this is pretty much everything else from the map. Just giving you guys kind of a little bit of a look around. Keep in mind, this update only just came out, like, two hours ago, guys. So, everyone is just completely clueless like I am. Oh, okay, I'm infected. Okay, this is going to be a different change of pace. Hey, buddy. Can they see me or can they only hear me? Hi, buddy. Damn it. <laughs> but dude, look at the first person model. Your eyes are kind of like, like blurry. And so you can't really see around you. And you have this rotten flesh look and you have an ax going around chopping people up. This is what actual infected needs to be like. Look at that. Look at all the sound effects too. This is awesome, dude. <laughs> 
Is there no throwing knife though? I don't see a throwing knife. What the fuck? What, what the hell is that? A head? Wait, hold on. What the hell is this? Come here, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> oh no. There we go. <laughs> this is too much fun. What the hell does this head do? Like that skull head, did you guys see that? I don't know whether that's a speed boost or something, but there's no throwing knives. Okay, they're around the corner there, so I guess that's the camping spot. Or is that attack insertion, maybe? That's probably a attack insertion. And there's a care package. Oh, they might have got the V2 out of a care package last game. That's probably what happened. The only time I'll ever get a V2 rocket in this game is because I hardly play it. Also, they uh, added in a zombie steam headquarters, which is really awesome too. Uh, the zombies headquarters looks amazing. There's zombies in the middle and like cages, and the and the middle's are, like on fire, and there's lightning and like cloudy skies. It's really really awesome and badass. Let's try to get a more open map. I don't want to play Point Two Hawk again, but I don't want to play. Karen Tam. So you get a combat shotty and a type 100 every time it looks like. So I'm probably gonna go back here with this guy. Because this looks like the camping spot to be in. Actually, I don't even... Uh, yeah, I completely forgot that they're able to uh, be some be these zombies. So I'm gonna place a Betty around the corner. And I'll probably place one in the bush. I can't trust my teammates to guard me to place this later. So might as well just get the kills now. And it looks like a V2 will just spawn out of a care package, so it won't really matter to get one anyway. Can you earn two of them? Like, get the kills and then get the care package? That'd be interesting. Okay, I'm, I got the Bouncing Betty back there, so I'm gonna try and be ballsy here. Okay, that Skull is attacking, sir, because he just spawned there. That's cool, it's just a random just skull that's placed on the ground. Oh, hi, zombie. Ooh, this is getting sketchy now already. Oh, the V2 rocket's back there. But did he die? Okay, I'm gonna... I guess they just don't get throwing knives. I, this is the actual first time that zombies infected have not had throwing knives since the very beginning of Modern Warfare 3. Oh, the V2! Wait, no, it's a flamethrower. Ooh, get away, get away, get away, I hear you. Oh, this is gonna be interesting, boys. Oh! No, boys, no! That was awesome! <laughs> That's so much fun. That is so much fun. Okay, so apparently you get random care packages that land other than the V2. And it just gives you random kill streaks. Because that was the flamethrower. That's awesome. So you get random care packages kind of like uh, the Advanced Warfare Survival Mode. That's awesome. Yeah, they've definitely changed Infected in this. This is definitely a different version of Infected. This is awesome, guys. Like, I actually am going to probably play the crap out of this update alongside Overwatch. Because, uh, Fortnite, there's not anything necessarily in particular. I know that in Fortnite they have solid gold V2. And then they temporarily had for, like, I think like a day, a game mode called Close Encounters. Or a Close Quarters, where it's just jetpacks and shotguns. Which, that would probably piss me off. That would be, like, Advanced Warfare. Uh, and the, on the bad side, at least. Uh, but Overwatch's anniversary update, and then this probably will be what, like, what I'm going to be playing a crap ton. This is just awesome. I absolutely love this update. Thank you, Sludgehammer. This is why I love you guys. 
Anyways, everybody, this is going to be today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some more Call of Duty World War II. If you do want to see more of this in the future, please drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here because that's really appreciated. And it'll also let you guys know when I'm uploading another video. I can see all my friends and me having a fun time with this update if I can get my friends on and everything. But at the end of the day, like, video games are just meant for having fun. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm so glad to see them doing that right now in this update because this is all about fun right here. Anyways, guys, hope you end up enjoying. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the update and if you'll play the game again for this update. I'm really curious. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.